Ed, you know, we know that a good financial plan can be wrecked by a poor estate plan, but the two often cross-pollinate with each other because of taxes. And so where are the glaring holes and what should consumers be concerned about when it comes to taxes like in IRAs, Ed, your wheelhouse, and estate planning? Well, I think the big problem is people have not paid attention to estate planning because we have these huge exemptions. Uh, $12 million a person, $24 million a couple. So most people think, oh, good. Why do I? They tune out about estate planning. It doesn't affect me. Yes, you may not pay a state tax, but that's a different tax than income tax. Income tax, you and your beneficiaries will pay if you have, just like you said, an IRA, a 401k. Never forget, that money has not yet been taxed, and your IRA money is included in your estate. Even if your estate is not large enough to be subject to a state tax, the income tax will still have to be paid. And now, after the Secure Act, your beneficiaries may end up paying a lot of that in a shorter time frame, like a 10-year rule. And we even had new rules come out a few weeks ago where beneficiaries may be shocked to know that some of them may have to start taking money out as early as the year after death. I think when we look at estate planning, we don't want the government to be our partner. And so, Ed, what would you tell our viewers and our listeners today on what they should do to pass tax-free assets on instead of taxable? because the SECURE Act made it even more taxable because now they've got to pay out those IRAs and 401ks to non-spousal beneficiaries over 10 years. So what would you say to our viewers and listeners? You're right. SECURE Act made IRAs even a worse. They downgraded IRAs as an estate planning vehicle by eliminating the stretch IRA. People were okay with that, the so-called stretch IRA, because they knew their beneficiaries could defer the tax taking small distributions for 10, 20, 30, 50 years. Not anymore. So Congress uh, purposely made IRAs a lousy estate planning or wealth transfer vehicle. They felt in the SECURE Act that IRAs and your retirement accounts should only be for you, not your inheritors. So they made the taxes a lot more cumbersome for your beneficiaries. So what do you do? Well, Roth conversions can help uh, because at least you have the same 10-year rule, but at least it will be tax-free. And when I say tax-free, again, not a state tax-free, income tax-free. The Roths will be both actually a state and income tax-free if your estate is under that limit. And another option, which I write about in my book, you might have noticed a couple of copies laying around, uh, is the power of life insurance. Now, I do not sell life insurance, but to me, indirectly, Congress upgraded the value of using, uh, and I'm talking about permanent cash value life insurance, instead of leaving IRAs, maybe take some of that down at today's low rock bottom rate. Same thing with a Roth conversion, uh, maybe a super Roth conversion where you use it to fund a life insurance policy that can give you lifetime benefits, say a long-term care rider. I have that for myself. And then you have the big tax-free payout, income tax-free payout for your beneficiaries. Uh, it may turn out to be better planning than you had with the stretch IRA. All I think Congress did to shoot themselves in the foot. All they did is wake us up, incentivize us, and motivate us to do the better planning with life insurance that we probably should have been doing all along. Life insurance has now, in my opinion, moved to the top of the list as the wealth transfer and estate planning vehicle. Jeff, Ed Slot, thanks so much for being here with us on the Income Generation. Great, Great thanks. Great to be here.